much time do you spend negotiating with procrastination, debating in your head whether you should go and study or procrastinate a little longer? Well, let me tell you something. Your feelings don't matter. You might feel like going back to sleep. You might feel like watching TV. You might feel like doing something. Maybe you don't feel like doing something. It doesn't matter. And instead of not doing it, just go ahead and go through the motions. Go through the motions. Get it done. Go out there and do what you're supposed to do. Don't negotiate with procrastination. Get up and go and study. Most of us go through life with our brakes on, holding back, not giving everything that we have. Most of us go to our graves still holding on rather than releasing it because of past experiences, past defeats, past pain. We look back. Well, it didn't work out then. It probably won't work out now. Whether you feel like it or not, things don't always go your way. You have to make them go your way. And the work is only going to get harder. The exams are only going to get tougher. It's the way life works. What you need to do is get harder and you need to get tougher. We all know the students that complain about their grades, but then do nothing about it. I'm failing my exams. The exams are too difficult. What are you doing about it? You got to take action in your life. Find a solution to your problem. Don't be the problem. Take action. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. It reminds me of the words of William Hollis. Imagine if you got what you want every time. No struggle, no challenges, no hard work required. Some of you are saying that would be great. You would be weak and then when something hard comes up in your life, you wouldn't know how to handle it because you have never gone through anything that strengthens you. You cannot grow without struggle. You cannot grow without resistance. Pain is your friend. Maybe not in the moment, but in the long term, to develop a stronger human being, pain is your friend. If you didn't have failures, if you didn't fail some exams, if you didn't get knocked back in class, you would have no strength, no courage. How could you? You are given pain because you're strong enough to handle it. You're given this life because you are strong enough to live it, because you are strong enough to drive through it, to inspire others through it. They will look to you and say, he did it, she did it, and I have the strength to do it too. You are stronger than you think. You've survived all your challenges to this point, and you will survive whatever is coming. But next time a struggle comes, I don't want you to curse the skies. Just know that it was sent for a reason. It might be to make you stronger. It might be to teach you patience. It might be for you to show others your spirit. There is a reason. So don't you give up. You have a purpose in this world and you will only find it if you keep going and keep growing. If all you do is complain, nothing's going to happen in your life. Be obsessed over your future. Be consumed by the possibilities. The super successful don't stop when they hit their targets. They simply reset and go again. That dream is not going to just sit there and wait for you to come and get it. You've got to chase it like a man possessed. You've got to go and get it.